。例がないっていう理由の一つとして、ユ、は、ウ、い、ってのがあるんです。一ユウ。So for the Japanese, the katana is much more than just a weapon. 場に例を尽くしてすべてを集約と。つまりここが自分の最後になるかもしれないという場である。みなさん、こんにちは。And welcome to Last Ask Six and Say. I love to be a host, Shogo from Last Ask Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say, 本日もよろしくお願いします。はい、お願いします。お願いします。日本の武道の一つの大きな特徴として、さまざまな礼法がある、はい。その中でも特に刀を使う、まあ、居合だったり、剣術に関しては、まあ、刀に対する礼をする理由派があったりだとか、はい、神前の礼だったりとかっていうところで、今回の動画では、一年中で、やっている礼法ですね、はい、をぜひ教えていただきたいなというふうに思っております。It is actually inaccurate to call a Budo a martial art because Budo is originally meant to not only carry on the traditional fighting skills, but to show appreciation to the gods and respect towards each other through the process. This is why there is a saying that goes Budo wa be ni hajimari, le ni owaru, which means Budo starts and ends with bowing. So today, Six and Say, the 22nd headmaster of Kobudo, Asayama Shinryu, with 400 years of history, will introduce how we bow to the gods in our katana. It is very different from the ways it is generally done in many modern Iaiyuha styles. So please watch till the end to find out about the details. So then, let's get started. First of all, why is bowing to the katana necessary in katana related Budo? Nihon to jitai ga, sono, reiki Nihon to nante ne. 昔の日本人は日本刀は刃物だから切れるっていうふうに考えてたんじゃないんですよ。そこに宿る霊によって我が身を守り敵を切ることができると。From a historical perspective, the sword is a tool that the ancestors of the imperial family used that played a great role in founding Japan. They believed that the gods gave them the power of the sword to rule Japan, and from there, they came to worship it. From this belief, it came to be believed that anyone who possessed a sword had the blessings of the gods, and the imperial family would give swords to their warriors when they ordered them to do something. This is how the katana came to be considered sacred in Japan. So, for the Japanese, the katana is much more than just a weapon. Therefore, we bow to the sword, feeling we are granted the privilege of using it to fight. The Koshini o b i t e Sage o Kesok Surua, Sono Rei o Wagamini Tomeok, Toyoko, the same. Hi. The Gara Samurai no Nichijo no Sugoshi Katano, Nakade no Kotojanaku, Oke Kogoto to Ste, Hono Toka. そういう意味において、作業を結束するっていうのは普通にあるんです。tying or not tying the sagio string depends on the duo style that you belong to, and it doesn't mean that either way is right or wrong. Some say we should tie it so the katana doesn't fall out of your hakama. Others say that samurai in the past didn't tie it, so we shouldn't tie it at all. But in Asayama Shindu, we tie it in the front, believing it is a way to connect the katana and its user. Listening to the story so far, you might be thinking, wow, then Asayama Shindu must do a lot of bowing. But our Gyuha originally doesn't have any katana bowing or bowing to each other. But why is that? と言ってすれ違う,うこの程度のものなんですだから例に相当しないんで例がありませんと言ってるわけ So it doesn't mean we don't do anything before performing a kata together with a partner It's just that the bowing is so slight that it wouldn't usually be considered a le bow Asayama Shindu is an ancient martial art born on the battlefield So this rule is based on the idea that a samurai should not bow deeply to everyone so often If you don't have the bowing to the shrine or katana either, is there something you do instead? で一伝流の場合は刀を腰に帯びて小湯口を切ってそれで膝と塚頭を地面について場に礼を尽くして全てを集約とつまりここが自分の最後になるかもしれないという場であると。剣を抜いてね、技をかわすとはそういう場であると。だ戦の心得ですよね。In Asayama Shindu, instead of bowing to a shrine or katana, 
you do a very simple bowing to the area you're going to be training in. But why is the area so important? Because there is no shrine in the middle of the battlefield and no time for you to take your Atana out of your Obi, the closest god that exists is the Mother Earth you're standing on. However, we have been explaining what Asami Shindu originally did. Now, in 16th century generation, we actually have a way of bowing to the shrine of the dojo and the katana. It's a katana bowing ritual that we always do at the beginning and end of the online lessons. But where does this come from? Asame Shindu has two other ryuha that are combined and taught together. The Shinkageryu Hoganha and Muhiryu Yaijutsu. When Six Sensei became the 22nd headmaster of Asame Shindu, he started teaching at this dojo, which was given to him by his father, who was also an Iaido master. Because Six Sensei and his students will be doing more indoor training, the 22nd headmaster Osei Sensei suggested they also do the bowing ritual from the Muhiryu Yaijutsu. That is because at a dojo there is a Kamidana shrine, and ignoring it in training may be considered rude. Then finally, let's actually watch Six Sensei and Skara Sensei perform the bowing rituals. Let's have Six Sensei explain the details of the bowing ritual. This is a method that is done by the All Japan Kendo Federation, Yai. Holding the katana in your right hand is to show that you have no will to draw the katana in front of God. However, we don't do this in Asayama Shinryu. So, Just like the very slight nodding bows you we introduced earlier, we are taught that a warrior must always be ready for battle. But from here, you start showing your respect to the gods. After taking three steps, you put your left knee down first, then fold your right leg as you fix the long kama you imagine wearing. You put the katana down in front of you and slide your body away from it to a position where you can't immediately draw it. You fix the hem of your katana, put both of your hands on the floor simultaneously, and bow deeply. You come back to the original position, stand the katana in front of you, and start putting it in your obi belt from here. 
。ここからねあくまでね右手でぶっ込むんじゃなくて添えた左で引くという意識でそれで左右を結束します。As someone who trains three d u h a in EI, I believe many d u h a just shoves the katana into their obi with their right hand. But Six Sensei explains that that is very rude and disrespectful to the katana. After you tie the s a g i o in the front, hold the tsuba handguard with your left thumb and stand up by putting your right knee up first. At this time, it's important that you make a small step forward to be more respectful. Keep your toes behind your knee. From here, the sensei and the students will make a circle to do the bowing to the area together. で,で、小口を閉めて、一 u Then finally, it is time to begin the performance or the training. I'm sure many of you watching our videos have trained with the katana or Japanese budo martial arts. Please let us know what kind of bowing rituals you do and your thoughts towards it. So、that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. 特にあの私自身やっぱりバンドリーフもやらせていただいている中で、東霊っていうものを海外の方に説明するの本当に難しいんですね。うん、どういう感じなのかっていう。でもちろんまあ各流派さんであったりとか、まああの古流なのか現代ブドウなのかということで発想は絶対に違うかなっていうふうに思うんですけれども、うん、その中でも一連流はこういう考え、まあ無理もそうなんですけども、うん、こういう考え方でやっていますという深いところまで、うん、教えていたところです。非常に勉強になりました。If you'd like to learn more anything about the matters and bowing in our new hub, please let us know in the comments. And our goal right now is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. To help us achieve this goal, we'll be able to do so much more in the future, possibly doing more videos, more online lessons, or even visiting your country or city to hold seminars about something we should do. It'd be great if you could help us out by sharing this video. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Want to learn EI and Kenjutsu skills from the Kodo master, Siki Nobita Sensei? Our online lessons have perfect English interpretation and are accessible to anyone worldwide. We will even be providing Don ranks depending on your progress. Check the description box or pinned comment to join now.